multipliers. So the darker color show where maximum pumps uh, were installed. Uh, so the most popular pump was a 3 HP uh, DC submersible pump and the cost was uh, 5,70,000. Uh, these, uh, these two uh, with an auto tracker or without an auto tracker, essentially the uh, 1500 pumps around were at the cost of 5,70,000 for the 3 HP and the farmer's share was about 80,000. Uh, these were all installed this year around the Kharif season. So I visited them just before Rabi season. Uh, runs up to 8 hours, uh, irrigate about 1.5 hectare of land. Um, this is an example of a 2 HP pump installed on a diggy. Uh, <coughs> combined with a greenhouse. This is a 3 HP pump. Uh, so if based on the uh, data that farmers uh, came up with, uh, uh, they were normally using a 5 HP pump either uh, through a commercial connection of agriculture because uh, agriculture connections are difficult to get or, uh, or a diesel pump. And uh, in terms of running costs, uh, farmers said they saved up to a thousand rupees per day, thousand to two thousand rupees per day on diesel. And many farmers said they saved up to eighty to ninety thousand rupees. And if you compare it with the commercial agric connection in which they said about thirty thousand is what they were spending in a year, uh, their own contribution of about eighty thousand they were able to save in a year. For agri connection, uh, running, just a running cost. This is also put in the government documents, and this is how uh, they are just defining it. For farmers on the field, it is basically replacing diesel and not so much electricity. Uh, for government, uh, in talking to the government officers and in their documents, it is saving them the headache of supplying to the farmers. Uh, including the law and order problems that happen when they give irregular supply of electricity. Uh, this is what the government quotes that they are going to save um, uh, money as well as administrative uh, issues by putting in solar pumps. So the uh, you know farmers can hold the sun accountable and not so much the government accountable for electricity. That's the shift that they are trying to do. Uh, Going further with this, uh, in their cost calculation, the government is saying that if they had to put in 70,000 new connections, they would have to spend about 700 crores. And uh, of course, the subsidy lifelong, uh, about 25 years is the assumed uh, life of solar pumps. So on the basis of that, they find the solar pumps economically viable. This is per pump for what rating? HP or this is uh, five lakh is for three HP. Five lakh subsidy is for three HP. Uh, so they used a, a DC submersible pump in a diggy. So they have uh, they use a floater. You know, in the middle you see the pump is being made to float. Uh, farmers are very happy with the performance so far, which is about six months, no maintenance, no need to get up in the night, all the other things that people have said. Uh, theft, vandalism and high winds are the major concerns that farmers come up with and this is where companies have had some problems. Uh, the concerns are there is no way to test locally whether uh, it is the panels have the kind of quality that is being promised. The program was implemented to horticulture department and uh, it is very understaffed. So it's essentially the companies which were already present in the field or had a dealer network, they did the farmer mobilization, they did the file work, they prepared the files for the subsidies. So they have had a sort of a overwhelmingly important say in the choice of the company, the choice of models and the farmer's decision making process. And uh, the companies which helped them in preparing the files are the ones uh, eventually the farmers went with them. So, mostly uh, they are gen. The, they have done more than half of the uh, pumps. Um, so, in the uh, sort of conversational environment, there is a lot of talk of side payments, the talks of companies 
having to give back uh, more than uh, having to give back at least half or more of the share of the farmer to lower the farmer in their uh, in their sort of, uh, scheme. Uh, there's a case of a farmer who moves two of the panels from the field to the house. So the farmer is also looking at it as a home lighting solution that we were discussing earlier. Um, some farmers have invested in locks. Uh, there's a farmer who's installed the panel on a trolley, the whole thing on a trolley, including the pump. And uh, he's on the roadside, so he's very worried about the theft. So he takes the trolley back home every night and <laughs> brings it whenever he needs it. That's a portability of That's the <laughs> cost you 77,000. This cost about 77,000 rupees, and the farmer invested. What they can do is they can irrigate different seeds at different timings also in a yeah. day. So they can actually make money rather than... Is he willing to spend 80,000 on this? Yes, yes. Actually, <coughs> the... Farmer ...was willing to let it go. Yeah. So he didn't pay any inquiry. If it had been this uh, pen, he would have run after it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a bit about the costs and I am... Um, uh, there's an MNRE cost figure of about 190 per WP and the scheme was sort of designed to match that price. So, um, the pumps that were used in the scheme cost about 1.75 lakhs, which is uh, much higher than the world pumps regularly cost. Uh, there is a bit of a non-subsidy market for solar pumps also in the region. And in fact, this started just a few months before the subsidy scheme was announced. So there is a local solar integrator who is offering uh, a similar performing uh, pump at 1.4 lakhs. Uh, the government pump is 5.7 lakhs. And he assembles it in his workshop, uh, you know, just behind his house. He's using the AC submersible pumps and he is using batteries for storage. Is he IDE solar or just somebody else? The, these are local he's a local, he's local, a local guy. Actors. He's a local integrator. Yeah. They're as well as good as the standard pumps which they're selling. Yeah. So that's, he a is claim. that's a claim actually that these pumps are as good as what Jan and other people are supplying. So he's installed about 25 pumps and I spoke to farmers who've installed these pumps. And uh, they're happy about they're it. They're happy about it. And they've they put in no, in Rajasthan, the water table are all around. All around. It was, yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, it's all Kanal Gama area so far. In Kanal Gama, where we also installed some pumps, it's about 20 feet per uh, so water. Yeah. And the problem there is that beyond a certain depth, the water uh, is very brackish. It's a blackish water. water. Yeah. So they cannot, they have to, they have to gradually, they have to pump the water very gradually. Right. They cannot suck it all out at one time. Yes, yes. Otherwise, it turns brackish. But the point here is that I mean, you can do it so much cheaper if this guy is back. No, he is making profit also here. So yeah, he is the making cost is much lower. Yes, and he if is you making mass, the cost will yes, roughly yes. actually estimate is 1 lakh rupees per HP. That is the kind of a cost it yeah. should come. Yeah, so he is offering a 3 HP a bundle. Rating is less. Otherwise, if you look at the for the water, yeah. Uh, so this year, yeah, I have time. <laughs> so this year, 3,000 pumps are planned, and they this this year they're planning to go beyond the Canal Command area and even to farmers who do not have a farm born. So this time they're going in tubes, uh, and uh, farmers are politicians are demanding higher HP pumps. So 5 HP or 7 HP is what they're looking at this year. And uh, though of course it has been linked with drip irrigation, but in reality, uh, farmers uh, dealing the drip and use it for flood irrigation or use it whichever way they like. Um, also, many farmers have invested uh, additional 20, 30 thousand in buying an inverter and uh, doing it for home lighting, TV, cooler. Uh, the people who are experimenting with air conditioners in the very hot area. <laughs> yeah, and they want to use it for air conditioners. So there's some experimentation happening in the local market about how to use it for running air conditioners. So that's another investment that people are willing to make. 
uh, for home and enterprise solutions and people are spending 20 30 thousand additional for this kind of uh, uh, this kind of a thing so thank you